Yeah, so uh, uh, thanks everyone. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to be here. Uh, you, you know, I, I David Collendler's um, presentation resonated with me uh, quite deeply. Um, Tacoma said I was a, you know, an asset owner at one point in time. I was basically, I was the asset manager at Colorado Springs Utilities and we had an extensive raw water, you know, delivery system right there, you know, Pikes Peak. And uh, I, I've, I've got, uh, you know, huge respect for those organizations that manage both natural and built uh, assets, uh, especially when you get into water and you're, you know, you bring in the whole conversation of, of water rights uh, when you're looking at, you know, your various uh, asset projects. So again, excellent presentation uh, by David. And, and yeah, Susan, you know, the, the federal perspective, I, I second uh, Tacoma's comment about um, small utilities and, and just the, the, the dire need uh, for support out there. So I, I applaud uh, the efforts of the GAO. Uh, my talk, uh, so yes, I'm, I'm David Topman. I'm the Vice President of Asset Management at Innovise. Um, we're uh, you know, probably one of the world's largest uh, hydraulic modeling companies uh, when it comes to supporting water and wastewater. But I'm, I'm actually changing hats and I'm here to really uh, talk about uh, the American Society of Civil Engineers um, I was the uh, 2019 president of the Utility Engineering Surveying Institute. We were one of the, the newest institutes. Uh, we're really an amalgam of the pipelines division, uh, quite a large division of ASCE, and um, the, also the surveying geomatics division, which was one of the longest running divisions at ASCE. Um, I don't have slides on ASCE. I think, I think most folks know the American Society of Civil Engineers, at least I hope so. Uh, you'll, you'll see some, some slides on some of our, our, our products and services, if you will. Um, we're one of the largest uh, civil engineering uh, bodies in, in the world. Uh, we do have global representation. So um, that's kind of a, a, a proud thing to be part of. Uh, and, and as Tacoma kind of mentioned, I am the uh, ASCE representative to the US Technical Advisory Group on ISO uh, Technical Committee 251, which is responsible for the ISO 55000 uh, standard on asset management. Um, so Nick, next slide. How I want to kind of put uh, in context, uh, you know, why, why ASCE is now heavily involved in asset management and the division I just mentioned, uh, you or the Institute, the Utility Engineering Surveying Institute, we have our own asset management division and we um, are really focused on infrastructure uh, life cycle and, and getting civil engineers to think about asset management. And, um, and I'll, I'll get to our, our report card. I think you've all heard about the, the, you know, the ASC report card on America's infrastructure, but the, the grand challenge is an initiative that's, that's been around for quite some time. Uh, and, and next slide, Nick, the, 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 mission statement, if you will, about the grand challenge was, you know, the, say the report card uh, identifies the, these gaps, but, um, you know, the grand challenge was to, you know, goal is to reduce the life cycle cost of infrastructure by 50% by 2025, which if you look at your watch is right around the corner, uh, and foster the optimization of infrastructure investments for society. Um, Kind of a, a noble purpose. It, 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 you know, if you look at some of the key words there, it just, you know, screams out asset management. So, you know, I, I guess one of my thoughts, uh, Nick, next slide. You know, we could have, we could have, you know, <laughs> made this a little easier if we just said, you know, do asset management. Um, I don't know if that would have been easier to understand or not, but you know, as civil engineers, we we have to we have to expand you know, the text a bit and, and say a whole lot of words, you know, and, and it really boils down to, to uh, you know, doing asset management. Um, next slide, Nick. And, and so, like I say, you know, you may be very familiar with our infrastructure report card. Um, we've been doing this for, for many years and uh, the, the latest report card was in 2017. Um, specifically in the water wastewater industries, our grades uh, are, are not too, not too great. Uh, you know, I had a professor that, you know, made a comment about, you know, they don't give Fs, 
uh, if you got a D, you know, you, you know, you're still in 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 pretty bad shape because you know Fs were just too much paperwork, so they'd give you a D, you know, anyway. And so, um, you, you know, the D says we have lots of uh, room for improvement. Now, uh, the 2021 report card will be coming out, so please stay tuned for that. Uh, I won't uh, spill the beans on on what we're what we look at in 2021, but again, this report card has been used quite a bit to to kind of get the conversation going. I mean, indeed, about asset management, but definitely the you know kind of the, the dire um, state that uh, our infrastructure is in uh, across the board. Uh, next, and and so we with that report card, there was a a series of reports called the failure to act uh, reports, and these took a look at major uh, industries, infrastructure industries, if you will, and and we would call them asset classes, right? Um, there was a report on the, the energy uh, industry, a report on transportation, a report on water and wastewater, and really kind of one of the capstone reports was, was this, this economic report that took a look at kind of the, almost the exponential effects if, if any one of those two industries should fail together. Uh, you start to see these exponential economic impacts. And of course, you know, that's where the GAO is definitely coming in and taking a look at, you know, um, the, that, that sort of economic uh, impact anywhere from the infrastructure itself to funding mechanisms to, to the workforce. And so these failure to act reports really kind of highlighted, um, you know, the impact uh, of, of what, you know, if we just kind of ignore uh, these needs. Uh, next slide. And so this is actually one of my kind of one of my favorite diagrams, if you will, from the uh, the grand challenge is, you know, we, we know we know we have, you know, soaring infrastructure needs um, is the top arrow uh, showing dollars over time. And, and we only have a limited available funding. Right. It's, it's just barely rising. It's almost flat. And so clearly we have a problem. There's there's a there's a gap that we need to address. And so this this the grand challenge is really taking a look at well you know how can we can we can we take a look at you know new funding sources uh and we're starting to see some of that conversation and glad to have the you know gao in in the conversation there but really we're, we're looking at you know through policy actions from from technology enhancements to be able to kind of bring down those infrastructure needs if anything not the need so much itself, but the cost, 